Welcome to a Tin Dog podcast, this time talking about, well, the confession of Brother Signet, which is my new story from BBV. We've talked about BBV before. Now, they've asked me to talk a little bit about this for their own site, but I thought I'd release this as a Tin Dog podcast as well. I mean, why should everyone suffer apart from you, dear, dear listener? They've asked me a couple of questions, but I will talk a bit more in this podcast. First off, why do I like Faction Paradox? Well, obviously, oh, and by the way, this is the cover. Faction Paradox came about at the time when we thought Doctor Who was dead, dead in the water. The only place it existed was really in books and comics and fan fiction. And the line between fan fiction and books was really the squishiest during the 90s. Also, Faction Paradox is the most goth of, well, all of Doctor Who. Seriously, it genuinely is. They've got skulls, they've got big flowing cloaks, they exist in the 11 d Empire, which is the, well, you can look it up. And they're just damn cool. They've got shadow weapons. They've got sentient TARDISes. And you know what? It's the sort of stuff that really could turn up in the TV series and people would just go, yeah, that's cool. If you wanted to make a darker Doctor Who, you've already got it available to you out there. So that's why I like Faction Paradox. My story, my story's not just Faction Paradox. I looked at the limitations of the form. I wanted it to be a monologue. I like monologues. I've got a background in theatre and monologues kind of work really well. It's taken, you know, the short trips feel fair enough, but with monologues, you get to tell a story. You get to tell it from beginning to an end. Now, I wanted to do this with one character, so I wanted no interruptions. I wanted to be a confession. So that's kind of the influence for that one. Something nice and religious. And there's a lot of pseudo-religious nonsense going into Faction Paradox, which is just lovely. Right up my street. If you've read Blue Box Messiah or even seen the production, or any of my other writings, you know that there's definitely going to be something along those lines in there. So that was going to be there. Now, I've recently, during lockdown, rediscovered my love of H.P. Lovecraft's Call of Cthulhu game. Loved it, been playing it, and I just so loved it to a level that I it just reignited my passion for Gothic literature and the whole thing. So I've gone back and laboriously worked my way through the entire fiction catalogue of H.P. Lovecraft. Yeah, I know. That was fun. Cyclopean. Let's say that word too many times. And then I just kind of let loose. I combined the two. I made a story that wasn't just the land of fiction, was something a little bit better because it's very easy to go, "Mm, we visited the land of fiction. Well, you know what? That's not where I wanted to go. I wanted Cthulhu in Doctor Who. I wanted all of the monsters and I wanted a reason for it. And that's what I did. I yoked the two ideas together and produced something that I hope you'll enjoy. But I don't know. Either way, I think that Lovecraft's work's great. Yes, the guy is awful. I mean, you know, he had some really weird ideas about race, the sort of thing that would get you cancelled these days. And I'm sure there was a campaign for that. But the guy was, well, you know, he died of cancer in the 30s. That's 90 years ago. The world was a different place. This is pre-Second World War. This was before the idea of being, you know, a fascist was frowned upon. Yeah. And he wasn't. Well, I'm not even going to defend him. I'm here to discuss his works. You can separate someone, the art from the artist. Well, I'll leave you to decide that for yourself. But I was a fan of the game growing up, and it was the game that spoke to me. The monsters, the creatures, the incredible darkness. And yes, there's a bit of the goth about me. Is that a crime? No. So one bit of gothic architecture, writing, whatever, combined with another, just perfect. So that's why I wrote this. And that's what I was thinking all along. It's available from BBV and I'd be very grateful if you were to buy it because you know, Christmas is coming. I hope you enjoyed and please leave a comment below or indeed email me at tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk or even follow me on Twitter at tindogpodcast, all one word. 
So with that, I'll fade away and see you all very soon. Be seeing you.